So we have item and user models that I can copy. So I will actually start with the item model and I'll make a new file, paste that in, save it as product.php. Okay, class product, extends model. It has a name, a description, and a price. So now what I wish to do is change everything to product. So item, because really many of these are going to be useful for me. So I can get the list of products here. So select start from product, good. Prepare the SQL, execute. So this is gonna get all of the products. Now getting products for a user makes no sense. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Creating products, the product should have a name, a description, as well as a price. So this price. Find, I can find a product by product ID. And return a single product. Update, I could change the name. the description and the price. For a specific product ID. Now I have four placeholders to insert. And I already had name, description, price above, or I thought I had. So let's just take the description and price and add these here, description, price, comma. Okay, the product ID, good. And now for delete, we need to modify item ID to product ID. Okay, so we have the basic operations for looking at, so creating, reading, updating, and deleting products. Let's make a product controller. We can base ourselves on this home controller, which 
performs the same operations. Product controller. Not PHP. We're going to paste this in and we're going to look at all of the uh, different possibilities. So product controller, extends controller. I would like to see now product, the list of all products, for instance. And I'm going to view this in product index and pass the items in. Okay, so that would be a list of products would be my index page for this. I'm going to make a new folder under my views for the product views and a new file which I will save as index.php and in this new file I will replicate what goes on in my home index but I'll change it for products my list of products so I can call that a product catalog And what I will change is going to be largely the different URLs where instead of pointing to the home controller, I'll point to the product controller so that I can change all of my different products. And now viewing the details is not going to be so awkward. So I'll still keep the item name. And then for each item in my collection, display these items. Maybe I wish to add a little bit more data, such as the price. Okay, so we have the name, the price, and the different actions. Let's save this. Back to our product controller. Let's look at the create method. So now I wish to create an item, which is going to be a product. It will have a name, it will have a description, which we're going to take from post. And it will also have a price. So we're building a product with a name, a description, a price we create, and then we go back to the product index. Otherwise, product create. So this looks like the creation method. I wish to be logged in. We might discuss a modification in the access filter in a later video or in this video. There are no item owners for now. So I will get rid of that. and look at the view for the product creation. 
So I make a new file, product. I'll save it as create. And I'll look at my creation for the items, paste that in, modify it so I have a proper form. So I wanted to create a product, not an item, but a product. Now I wish to add more form groups. So I have name. I want to add a description, a price. So let's start with description. I could use an input uh, or I could use a text area. So let's start with a text area. It doesn't need to have a type, it is text. I will call it description. And I'll leave the class form control. Close the text area. And now for the price. And my submit button, which will be create. Good. Okay, going back to the product controller, let's look now at details. To avoid any confusion, I will change item ID to product ID, change my model to product. and remove this security feature from the previous controller, which by the way was changed by the filters, but we did not implement it with filter in this one. So now let's look at calling the proper view product details with the item, which I could change to the product. Okay, we are going to make a new file in the product views. Save it as detail.php. Again, looking at the detail view we had for the items, we are going to paste it and write in the product details. So now a product is going to have a name, a description, and a price. And when I want to go back to my list, I'll go back to the product controller, product index. Looks okay for now. 